Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I'll be teaching you this basic grit synth 2. It's basically a wobble that has a little bit more of a grit sound to it. It has a little bit of distortion, but I think it's a really cool synth, and so I think I should teach it to you guys. Uh, there is one thing, I have run into a little bit of legal issues over the past few days and um, I just wanted to say that uh, I figured it all out, don't worry, you'll still be expecting more synths and tutorials such as this later on. So I uh, enjoyed this demo example as I prepare to show you how to create this. And I'll show you what it is it's affecting with and without. So take a listen. Now uh, I'm going to take off the arpeggiator and you should notice a uh, difference for the synth. That's with it off and this is with it on. There are uh, two types of distortion with this, and I'll uh, have to teach you how to make that here in a minute. So, I'm going to create a new Reason document. I'm going to drag on my mixer, drag down my sequencer. Okay, one of the things I love to do is create a combinator. There are three different ways to create it. You can right click and get this menu. You can hold down Control and left click. Or what you can do is you can hit F8 and it'll bring up the tool window, go to your devices, go to utilities, and drag out a combinator. So from this, we're going to create a blank instance of Thor inside the combinator. I'm going to hit show programmer to open it up. We're going to choose all three uh, oscillators to be a wavetable oscillator. So I'm just going to set that up now. Okay, so for our first wavetable oscillator, we're going to take this uh, down to octaves. We're going to change this to a didgeridoo. We're going to set the position at 96. Hold shift if you can't get those finite numbers. It really does make a difference if you get the right number. Uh, for my second uh, oscillator, we're going to take it down two octaves. And we're going to hit the position all the way up to 56. Okay. And uh, we're going to take this to random signs. And for our third oscillator, we're going to take this down one octave. We're going to change this to voice. And for the position, we're going to set it to 88. Hold shift. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to patch all three of these oscillators to my filter one. I'm going to take my frequency. How far do we take the frequency? We take it all the way down to 112 hertz. So we weren't off by much. Here we go. And make sure the drive is at 82. And for the resonance, we're going to make this 22. Actually, let's make that 32. 
Okay, so now that we have our synth, we're going to basically take our drive all the way to the middle for the uh, shaper, and we're going to set it to wrap. Okay, now for our modulation era. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on chorus, just leave it on like that. Turn it on comb filter, take the frequency all the way down. Same for the resonance, and make sure inverted envelope is on. Make sure envelope is all the way up. Uh, the velocity is up to 31, and the keyboard is all the way up. For the amp envelope, we're going to turn up the decay and sustain all the way. For the global envelope, we're going to turn on tempo sync and loop. So for our A, uh, on our date filter, we're going to turn that all the way up. We're going to make our decay and sustain pretty much halfway, so at two-fourths, actually one-fourths. Or actually, that looks about right, so I'm going to leave that where it is. Let me double check. It's on hold zero and four four. Yeah, so we're right. Okay, now to go to our sources. This is really the key signature of the sound. So we're going to take LFO1 and change the amount to be 56. And let's make this about... Remember to hold shift to get those finite numbers. For the destination, we're going to choose our oscillator 2 uh, position. For our next source, we're going to choose our mod wheel. So go to performance, mod wheel. And actually, we're going to make this three times. So I'm going to go to my performance mod wheel. Once more, performance mod wheel. And I'm going to change the amount to be 100% for all of these. And for the position, I'm going to choose oscillator 1 POS for the first mod wheel. For our second mod wheel, we're going to choose our second position. And for our third uh, oscillator and mod wheel, we're going to choose our third oscillator position. Finally, we want our audio input 1 to be 100% or 100 and make this uh, go out to itself, so audio output 1. Okay. So now with, that we have the synth, let's start to uh, excuse me. Let's start to patch it up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the let's see. Ah, yes. Okay, so we're gonna turn it over. And we're going to take the let's see, the filter frequency. Ah uh, yes, I also forgot to mention we're going to need to make a pulsar and a C uh, RPG eight monophonic. Okay, so now that we have our pulsar, we're going to take the filter frequency and we're going to plug it into our LFO one. So there we go, and that's all we need to do for the patching on the back. So now, what we're going to do is uh, do a little bit of the distortion. So I'm going to turn up down on my arpeggiator. I'm going to set it to free and I'll boost it to 250 hertz. And uh, you can take this down to about 240 if you want to get a little bit less uh, harshness on the sound. And we're going to set this to four octaves. Now if we play a note, We're, we're pretty close. So now we're going to attack the pulverizer. I should have done this first. We're going to set the LFO level to about 94. We're going to set the rate to about 1 6, uh, 1 8, I'm sorry. So we're uh, pretty close. I'm also going to turn up the gate length to 103. After this, all we need to do is to give it a little bit more distortion, so I'm going to go to my pulverizer. I'm going to set my filter to comb. I'm going to turn up the rate a bit, about 16%. Uh, set it to spread, and turn up the rate pretty much all the way, except for about... Let's see. Where do we set the rate? We set the rate at 710. So let me set it at 710. 
There we go. Ooh. I'm also going to push up the dirt to about 33%. And that should do it for that. After this, we're going to create an M class equalizer and an M class maximizer. So for the equalizer, I'm going to turn on low cut, P1. I'm going to take P1 all the way down to 94 hertz. I'm going to push the gain all the way down and the Q all the way up. For the second parameter, we're going to take this to 1.756, gain down, Q all the way up. And for our high shelf, we're going to turn it on, boost it to 6.694, take the gain all the way down, and the Q all the way up. Actually, not for the gain, uh, take that down to about negative 7. Actually, let's, let's just leave it alone for now. Okay, so after this, we're going to go to our M-Class Maximizer, take off limiter, put release to auto, turn on soft clip, and for the amount, turn it to 127. And there you guys have it, your very own uh, basic grid synth 2. Let me just make sure. Yep, okay. So I'll check you guys out. Oh, and also to set this uh, to negative. I'll check you guys out uh, tomorrow or Tuesday for another video. Peace.